We gotta keep this tight now and be smart and make sure whatever happens, nothing comes out. Because if it does, it's gonna be worse. Because we're all in it. The whole force, mate. I stuck my neck out from the get go. There are people in my life who have been through scenarios. A couple of, you know, I know one guy who's been through a similar scenario to this. He didn't lie about it. And, and I know people who have uh, lost loved ones to drink driving incidents. However, that's not what the movie's about for me. You know, really what I was inspired by was this kind of real kind of question about my own sense of ethics and not being really sure of what I would do if I, if I were to commit a bad act by accident or otherwise. The breath test, you had it up. Carl, I didn't ask for any of, of that. Of course you did. With your, with your help me face, your, your I piss my pants, help me face. Of course you're fucking. I changed my oh, mind. Bullshit you have, bullshit. A lot of the feedback was, you're gonna find it really tough to find a young actor, you know, period, let alone a young indigenous actor was, was some of these notes that were coming back. Um, that, that is gonna be able to perform Shakespeare and, and perform that role, basically. And, um, you know, I was very, very keen to prove them wrong. <laughs> to be? Or not to be, that is the question. I personally feel like a lot of indigenous actors are labelled in Australia. I grabbed the script and the first thing was, uh, oh, I don't have to kill myself at the end of this one. Oh, cool, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not you know, it's, it's, it's just a character. A, a Lebanese community or family could have played the same role. A Vietnamese could have played the same role, just in their own ghettoized way. I really think you should come this afternoon. I dare you. I don't know how long I can keep doing this. You, don't you turn those boys against me. I'm not going to be like you. There's a wonderful scene uh, where the young man comes to his father in jail and says, I'm not going to be like you. And that chokes me up every time. And I know it gets people from anywhere who've seen that. But that's because it's a parent-child scene. It's not about being someone from Redfern. It's about being a human being. And that moment when the child says, I'm not going to go the way you've gone in your life. It's going to be my way. So much for your step, Jay boy. Those big boots of yours will get you in trouble. Right? Get you in trouble. So what, you're just here for work? Not here to see your daughter? But I think Australian film and Australian television, you know, it's got to kind of move into a different sphere. It's got to um, start including Indigenous people. It's got to start talking about us in positive ways. But it, it's got to be truthful to what the country's really about rather than actually making up this hybrid image or this hybrid personality. Um, you've got to actually... Um, because then we feel left out. But this here for us, this is a collective. This includes everybody. This includes all our old people, all our young people. This includes all aspects of Australia. It's got all the actors in there that, you know, belong to the Australian cinema, but, and everybody's favourite actors too. So I suppose it's a great collective of minds and spirits and souls that came and told this story, sat around our campfire and told this story. But maybe that's what you want. Keep everything in its place. <laughs> <laughs>